Hey, this is Tony from Instructor Mania. Uh, the purpose of this video is to teach you how to plan with Instructor Mania content. Um, it's going to show you the scope and sequence that comes with each unit, and also how all of our units are organized into subfolders that are the exact same subfolders for a common flow within each unit. First of all, we'll check out where you can find the scope and sequence. In our units, our paper units, you'll find it outside of the subfolders. It'll be labeled scope and sequence. And on our website, you'll find the scope and sequence under documents, right next to the link table of contents. When you open up the scope and sequence, it'll look much like this. We do not prescribe a one size fits all approach, but we do give the exact same subfolders that have the same content with similar activities in each unit. The first folder you'll find is a introduction investigation. Students look at visuals and describe what they see. It sort of whets their appetite as to what they're going to learn about. They can make predictions um, based on what they learn. Sometimes I do this activity, sometimes I don't, based on how much, how much time I have. Um, it's a great activity, um, but it just depends on how much time you have. Folder number two is our geography content. We have instructional pieces for geography and then activities that go with it. And every single geography unit or subfolder has a quiz. The quizzes are provided in either a uh, Google format or on paper format. One more thing to, to draw your attention to is that we also have a uh, scavenger hunt world domination game for students to play um, if they'd like to study on their own. It's pretty self-guided or you can, you can also play with your class. The third folder is a vocabulary folder. We have varying activities based on uh, the same vocabulary content. Um, just depends on what your, your class um, has done in the past and what you'd like to do in the future. Um, every single vocabulary content piece has a Quizlet game for online games. Um, also, the vocabulary content has uh, a quiz that's in both Google Forms and um, supplied in paper, depending on what it is that you prefer. The fourth thing is the instructional content. So this is the, the main piece of our units. The instructional content comes in a variety of different modalities. You can do direct teaching with notes and a graphic organizer that students fill out as you're going through notes. You can do a collaboration or independent reading, which is through the, uh, the historical snapshots which give the basics and um, also what's great is historical snapshots also have a quiz that's available in Google Ready or in paper content. And then lastly, we have a stations activity that goes a little bit more in depth into each, um, into each uh, subject or in each topic. Um, so again, all three activities, whether it's direct teaching or uh, through the reading, the historical snapshot, or through the uh, the stations activity. It's really the same content. It just depends on what you prefer. And again, I choose based on what I did last time and what, how I'd like to change it up. Or if you want to keep it the same so that students, especially at the beginning of the year, if you build some repetition, it's a little easier. So there's some choices for you. The fifth uh, folder is activities. There are anywhere from eight to 12, up to 16 activities in each unit. Um, you can choose on the activities that you would like that either complement what you're trying to hone in on that, in that unit or um, what your, your students you feel will be interested in. I usually do anywhere from five to six activities per unit. But again, if you're short on time, I, the, the basics have been delivered all in the content from the previous folder. So really, um, anything you get to is a bonus. All right, the next folders will be folders six and seven. Six and seven embody the warm-ups and also review. All of our um, content in Instructor Mania is based on the big ideas, which are basically the six sa same six concepts um, throughout all of our units, which are, I remember them through, through GRAPES as the acronym, geography, religion, achievements, politics, or leadership and government. E stands for economy and S is social classes. By using these big idea concepts, students can reflect on what they've learned with familiar concepts that they've, that they've um, had throughout the year in order to review. So our warm-ups, um, both our warm-ups and our big idea content enable students to reflect on their learning. The warm-ups are daily skill-based warm-ups that are, that are essentially claim evidence reasoning based warm-ups that can be used uh, 
either daily or sometimes I use them at the end of the unit to um, grapple with the content again one more time before the test. Again, the big ideas are varying um, activities that students can use to review what they've already learned. Um, there is a big ideas content folder in every single unit that has roughly the same activities that can be used in different uh, times throughout your year. Lastly, we have folder seven and eight, which is the um, study guide and uh, written assessments or test. Uh, the study guide uses the exact same excerpts that are on the test. Students look at the content, they grapple with what's, what it's being, what's being said, they define any difficult words, and they summarize the excerpt. Then when they get the test, they've already seen the excerpt, their stress level is a little bit lower. They can then answer questions that are skill-based based on the information that they've already um, known. They Not only have they seen this, these excerpts usually in the study guide, but also in the study, the, the excerpts are from our content um, that they've already been given. So they've, at this point, seen them up to three times. The other option would be a written assessment option, which basically is a claim evidence reasoning option. Students can write a paragraph um, based on a claim that the teacher might provide, and then they'd provide reasoning, uh, evidence, and then reasoning to support um, the claim. Uh, lastly, they'd provide a, a conclusion. So there's many choices in our, in our curriculum, but you'll see that once you get familiar with some of the choices um, through the similar organization of each units with each folder and content and also each quiz that's available for, for the content um, subcategories, you'll see that your planning will be easy and your students will actually be very familiar with the flow and your teaching will become easier too.